Well, Greg Popovich, for me, gave me an opportunity uh, in the NBA. So I'm extraordinarily grateful for that. And for him, as the coach, uh, was very upfront, very honest, very direct in regards to if I did join the San Antonio Spurs, what would that role entail? And I think it was actually referred to, I don't know if it was actually his language, but at the time, was very much being recruited as an insurance policy. So <laughs> it's not, I don't know whether that's a, a real great compliment, but uh, when you're talking about going into a team that many people considered were one of the top teams and possibly a, a championship contender stacked with superstars, the greatest honor I could have for me to be an insurance policy in that particular team was something that was really exciting. And probably the biggest thing about Pop is that he treated everyone almost the same. Quite surprisingly for me, the way in which that he coached and held people accountable, whether it was David Robinson or Tim Duncan or Mario Eli, or as you work your way down to some of the scrubs like me and it was exactly the same. And uh, to a point where I thought, even my own self, I thought, gee whiz, I'm not sure I'd be screaming at Tim Duncan like that or <laughs> you know, showing your emotions towards David Robinson like that. But I think it's something that um, that he gained respect for, um, from because it didn't matter who you are, the, there were certain standards that you had to live up to and you held people accountable. If you go back 20 or 30 years and thought of the San Antonio Spurs in that particular market, I think you would have had to been highly optimistic to think that you could turn that into one of the mecca programs of the NBA. But he's done that with internationalizing the game, being innovative in the way in which uh, he coaches, uh, setting standards of, of behaviour and accountability. All those things will be part of his uh, legacy, which, of course, is based on success. The, the wins and losses uh, is what the game's all about and ultimately is what people are going to uh, judge you by. And also, I think that there's no questioning that he's done it his way. You see his behavior off the court and with the media. We're behind and they're ahead. Any thoughts on the game so far? Absolutely. Play better. I'm not too sure that there's many that can get away with it. And it's only because of that legacy and that reputation that he probably gets away with it.